Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the big flaw with the new Razor Pro R's and the super wide side-by-sides that are coming out and your trailering options. Because with these new side-by-sides, this one's stock sitting here. We measured the tires outside to outside, 75 and a half inches wide um, is where this machine comes, at in, comes in at stock, okay? And then behind me, I've got four different trailers we're gonna show you pulling in and out of. The first one, is a Trails West RPM Brant. It's 20 footer. Um, that's a 14 box plus a six nose. The interior or the narrowest point in this trailer is 92 inches wide. So you won't have any issues in this trailer because it is a deck over. And that's part of what we're gonna get into. The trailer next to it is an eight and a half by 20. Look Everlight. That's an all aluminum trailer from Look. The width between the fenders inside, or just to be clear, this width right here between these fenders is 82 inches, okay? Um, and that is the only measurement that really matters. Everything else is wider in this trailer than that, so you'll be fine, but you have to get through there with your machine to get into the trailer. The next one is an Element SE 7.5 by 16. Again, the measurement that matters is right here, 80 inches. Well, between 80 and 81, so you're... Really, we always say 80 inches right here between these two fenders, okay? And then the last trailer I've got here is a Stealth by Allcom. This is also a seven and a half by 16. And this trailer is also 80 inches between the fender wells here, 82 inches at the door. So now I'll show you as we try to pull in this aftermarket, this, this Razor Pro R with a little bit wider tires again this thing came in at 80 inches 79 and a half inches wide but a lot of guys when you do portals and 35s on this machine you are going to be 82 plus on and, and a lot of guys get all the way to 84 inches wide on these and i'll show you why a seven and a half is no longer going to work on the width and why an eight and a half doesn't even work anymore with those fenders because they're not built to be driven over. So if you bring your machine in and drive it over the fenders in that trailer, you're gonna damage them. So we have the answer and the solution here at Life Unlimited Trailers. Let's dive right in and I'll show you what it looks like driving in these trailers. guys i'm going to pull into this again this is the eight and a half by 20 everlight from look in this machine that's about 79 80 inches wide now you're going to see how close i have to run it on this side to even fit so i mean i made it through but you can see that is hard to accomplish. And the problem is if you look behind me on this passenger side, I came in just a hair crooked and you can see that that tire is gonna drive over the wheel well. So you have to get in here perfect every time to be able to come in and not be, not be hitting your wheel wells um, and, you know, and make it in and out. So. And this is, again, an 80 inch wide machine. A lot of guys are taking these all the way out to 82 inches. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like trying to pull this into a seven and a half wide. All right, guys, here we are at the Look Element seven and a half by 16. And I'm gonna show you the problem with this machine. Well, see, I'm driving over my rear ramp door cable here. So, it doesn't even fit between the so Now I'm in the trailer. 
Am I going to make it between the wheel wells? So I've made it in, but as you can see, this isn't a feasible solution here. Like if you get off even a quarter of an inch or even a hair, you're rubbing your wheel wells, you're running over them. Um, and if you go any wider than this, than this setup right here, which isn't that wide, you're not getting in. I'm going to back out before I get pinned in here and have issues rubbing the paint off the fenders and everything else in this trailer. And then I got to watch my cables again coming out to make sure I don't hook them. So there you can see that's trying to get into that seven and a half wide. It's just not possible once you put on wider wheels and tires to comfortably pull in and out and trailer your machine in, in a trailer that narrow. All right, here we are in the Alcom Stealth seven and a half by 16 as well. Just for good measure, we're going to try to pull into this one too. But again, it's very, very tight. As you can see, my back tire is driving on the cable over here because I wasn't perfectly straight. So Again, while you could make it fit with a lot of work at this width, you're really fighting the machine to get in and out of these trailers if you do any modifications at all to your Pro R. I'm going to back out before I damage the springs on this thing and cause more, more problems for myself. We'll pull the stock one in and out of these as well just to show you guys real quick how it does fit. Um, but again, it is very tight and... Uh, We'll go from there. Am I making it now? Yeah. It still is. It's now it's in the wheel well over here, though. So here we are in that eight and a half by 20. And I just wanna show you, this is probably, if you're gonna stick with a stock Razor Pro R, this is probably the trailer you're gonna to have to go with. Cause as you can see, it fit easily coming in here, but it's not like I've got a ton of room to spare. I'm still having to watch a little bit, but it pulls in and out super easy. You're not gonna be constantly having to watch every millimeter as you go in and out you still do gotta watch but it's much easier to come in and out much less of a headache all right guys the the reason we made this video is to help you guys make an informed decision when you're buying a trailer so that you don't get your machine get your trailer and then show up to pick your machine up and it doesn't actually fit right because when you look at the specs on a trailer and you see it's got 80 inches between the wheel wells you're like okay i can get a 78 75 inch wide machine and make it fit no problem. And I hope that what this video showed you is that's not actually the case. In any machine that's over 75 inches wide, a seven and a half trailer with an 80 or 81 inch width between the wheel wells is very tight. Um, and while it can be done, and if that's what you need to do, and that's what your, your you know, requirement, that's what you require, that is doable, but it's a little bit of a pain so hopefully from this video, you can tell that in order to really comfortably load any of the new Pro R's stock, you're going to want to go with at least an eight and a half wide. Um, if you do any modifications at all, it will not fit in the seven and a half. If you put bigger wheels on it, bigger tires, portals, anything, you'll have to go with an eight and a half wide. Now in this eight and a half wide, we're, we're, this is a mid-deck configuration. What that means is we put straight axles underneath it. We lift it, and so it allows us to put in these shorter ramped wheel wells. Um, 
And what we've done is we've talked to our manufacturer here in anticipation of your guys' needs, we've gotten reinforced wheel wells. We've had that option so that we can make these drive over fenders. And what that does for you is it allows you to drive in, drive up over these comfortably without damaging anything. Here's another little caveat you might not think about. You've got a seven foot roof here. If you do a standard fender and try to drive over it, your machine's gonna hit your roof. So you have to do a mid deck with the lower ramped fender wells, reinforce them, and then you can take your machine out to the 82 and 84 inch widths that guys are doing um, and still be able to load it in the trailer comfortably. Or the other option you do is you get a deck over snowmobile trailer, which look builds in the vision and element, a deck over snow trailer. And at that point, your shortest or your narrowest measurement is here at the door, which is always on almost every enclosed trailer, anywhere from 92 inches to about 99, honestly, on some of them, 95 inches wide. And then you have no issues coming in because you have the full width in a flat deck. So hopefully this helps someone not to make the mistake of buying a seven and a half wide trailer, thinking they're gonna modify their Pro R and ended up ending up having to go get something new immediately after. And that's the content we're trying to provide for you guys so that when you make a decision to buy a trailer, we've educated you as much as possible. And that's what we do for our customers here. When you come in, if we have a trailer that we know will not suit your needs perfectly, we're gonna tell you that. We're not just gonna try to push you into something that doesn't fit your needs. And if we don't have it in stock, we'll tell you that and that's part of why we have a five-star rating on Google and why we're the highest rated dealership, honestly, in the entire state of Utah, and I believe in the country. So give us a call here at Life Elevated Trailers. If you like this content, hit that thumbs up button, mash that subscribe button, and uh, we'll be happy to take care of you. Thanks, guys.